So I want to introduce you to the very first project, and this is actually a quick one. We're going to get familiar with working with the Excel macro recorder. And here's what we're going to do. So I've got an example file open. It's called Insert in Formatting Text. It's a file that you can grab and you can download and you can work along with me. So make sure you do grab that. Now, I've already completed the macros inside of my example right here. You open up the file, you're not going to have any code, you're not going to have any macros in there. But I want to show you what you're about to do. So East Records, I got a block of data here. It's nothing big, but I got a block of data. And it's got some headers up there. Region, expense, some months, and a total. Uh-oh, I misspelled it there. Well, I want to be able to automate placing those headers. Because perhaps every week I get new data in. It's the same structure. It's the same type of data. But every time I import that data into Excel, it doesn't have the headers. And it's not formatted. Well, you can create a macro to do this for you. Take a look. If I run over to the run macro, and I've already created this, I assigned the macro that adds the headers and formats them to a shortcut key. In my case, control J. I press control J and I'm done. It's added all the headers and it's formatted them for me. Or maybe perhaps even better yet, if I go to run with button, I've got a button now here. When I click the button, it performs the actions. One button press, and I've now automated my experience. And you're gonna see just how quick this is, just how efficient you can be and save time and money all by automating your experience inside of Excel with the Excel Macro Recorder. So this is gonna be our first project. Jump into the next video and we'll start creating this.